Good evening. I'm Ryan Solseth. And I'm Caitlin Beck. Thanks for tuning in to KVWN Channel 4 News. On tonight's local news, we go out live and talk with an adventurous student from North Star High School, planning on his future in Chicago, Illinois, then later a meeting with the new manager of the Candu Audi Theater. In national news, the final result of the Iowa ca caucus was revealed, and for the Republicans, Ted Cruz was the winner, and for the Democrats, it was an extremely close battle between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, but Hillary Clinton came out on top. In local news, the Candu Audi Theater recently got a new manager. Now we go to an exclusive interview with James Greenlee himself and our live correspondent, Bryce Tubner. Thanks, Ryan. I'm here with Jim Greenlee, the new manager of the Candu Audi Theater. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, how did you get involved with managing the Candu Audi Theater? Well, I was asked by the Arts Council if I was interested in it. Well, actually, I went to my wife first, Jaylee Greenlee, and then we were interviewed and we were shown around, and I thought, why not? Don't have enough, I'm not busy enough already, so I might as well to use up my weekends while I'm at it. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite part about the job? Favorite part about the job is probably just getting the movie started when everything goes dark and you see that screen going and, and then you just kind of see everyone enjoying and settling in for the, the, uh, the movie experience. Uh, what movies have you noticed bring in the highest revenue? Um, around this area, it's usually children's movies. The main reason for that is just because it puts more um, people in seats, you know, instead of just one person or two person coming, it's usually, you know, mom, dad, and kids, and so that's what usually does the best for revenue and also does the best for concession money as well. What are the next movies that will be showing? Uh, this weekend we have Star Wars. We also have a special matinee showing on Monday at 1 o'clock. Uh, next weekend it's the Oscar contender, The Revenant, and then after that it's um, kids' movie, Norm in the North. Uh, what do you have a policy on cell phones during movies? Um, usually don't like having cell phones open. Usually, um, usually we try to tell people not to have them open during the movies. But sometimes people can check them real quick. We're not going to kick you out if you just look at a text message. But if you're sitting there texting during a movie, then I don't really understand why you would pay $6 to go sit on your phone. Yeah. Uh, what are the movie times? Movie times, uh, 7.30 is when the showing starts, and then we are open at 6.45. You can come in early if you want, or if you want to just get concessions, usually concessions are available at 6.45, and 7.30 is the run time, or the show time. Well, there you have it, folks. Looks like the eye theater is in good hands. Come, so come up and enjoy a movie. Back to you, Caitlin and Ryan. Thanks, Bryce. Well, looks like if I'm not fishing, I can always go see a movie. Well, speaking of fishing, you better be careful on that ice, Ryan. I know what you mean. The ice conditions on local lakes continue to de deteriorate due to unseasonably warm weather. Normally, around this time of year, the ice averages 24 to 36 inches thick. Now the ice is averaging only around 14 to 20 inches. And a reminder to everyone out on the ice to use caution while driving and watch for dark snow on the ice, for this could be an indication of water on top of the ice. And to see if the ice will be melting anytime soon, let's go to Johnny with the weather. Thanks. We're looking at a brutally cold evening tonight as a polar vortex is coming down from Canada. This will clear our skies this evening and that will cause our temperatures to drop quickly. By sunup tomorrow, we should see lows of minus 15 or so in Minot, minus 20 or so in Candu, and in the Northern Valley, we should see temps of 25 below as you head to work Monday. Don't expect too much of a warm up during the day though. By mid afternoon, we would be lucky if we get above the donut. But all is not lost. We start our warm up on Wednesday. And look at that. By next Friday, we should see significant melting as we'll have sunny skies with highs near 40. And that continues straight on through the weekend. And with that weather report, it looks like Punxsutawney Phil might know what he's talking about. On February 2nd, many American wi Americans witnessed the famous groundhog Punxsutawney Phil who did not see a shadow, it looks like spring is right around the corner. Well, with the beginning of spring, the end of the school year is approaching. This year's seniors are preparing for their next adventure in life, such as college. Usually, most stay close to home for the first few years, but not Logan Beck. He is adventurous and going after his bachelor's degree in acting in Chicago, Illinois. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to tell us about your journey to Chicago. You're welcome. Are you nervous? for moving to a big city? Um, no, I don't think I am. I'm more excited than nervous. It's a big adjustment, but I think I'm ready for it. What college are you attending? 
Columbia College of Chicago. There are two different areas. You can either go to Los Angeles or Chicago, but I felt Chicago would be a better fit for me. What made you choose this college? I am in the performing arts and this is probably the closest school that could offer me the best program of this kind. What made you choose a degree in acting? Throughout my high school and elementary days of working with theater and speech, I just love it and I feel like that's what I really want to go into, so yeah. What are you looking forward to the most when you're there? I think being able to be with a bunch of other people who also feel passionate about like the arts and different aspects of that and just being in the city, I think that will be fun. What kind of student do you think will be successful in college? I think anyone that applies themselves and goes to class and makes an effort to get good grades is a successful student at college. Are you that kind of student? I would say so, yeah. I try hard in school. Thank you, Logan. Thank you. And now back to Caitlin and Ryan. Wow, Chicago. That's a way different lifestyle compared to the small town of Kandu. Good luck to him and all the students preparing for college. That concludes our show for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night.